Welcome to C++ tutorial. I am Mark Zingrass and this is your tutorial on how to do while loops and we'll make it into a practical application. Uh, summon a amount of numbers that is totally up to the user to choose. Start a new project and of course include our stream for input output and create your integer main function. Don't forget to return successful zero if you're on a Windows platform. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to sum uh, a set of numbers, but we don't know when the user is going to stop inputting the amount of numbers. So we'll have to ask the user a question. So I'm going to set up a couple of uh, variables here to keep track of stuff. I'm going to have an integer. Well, let's do a double. Uh, double um, temp variable that will take the user's input. We'll start that with zero. And then we will have a sum we're gonna ask the user a question do you wanna input another number yes or no so let's create a character data type of called uh, called question and let's do a boolean value while we're at it bool finished equals false Okay, we've set up our data types. Now let's create the while loop to ask the user for the input. While not finished, do these things. See out, enter a number. We'll enter that into a temporary variable. Once the user enters the number, let's add it to the sum. We could do sum plus equals temp. A little shorthand version of sum equals sum plus temp. And then we're going to ask the user if they would like to input another number. If question equals no, or if question equals capital N no, we will set finished to true. At the end of the loop, we'll output the total. Not sh let's put a uh, new line character in there. This is called an escape character. It's not going to actually print backslash n. It's actually going to print a new line. If you want to Google what certain escape characters are in C++, there's a list of about 20 of them. Uh, you can print quotes. You can print uh, new lines. You can print um, n lines, just various things. Look it up. There's a table all over the internet. Okay, let's try this code out and see if it works. F11 on this IDE. Enter a number, five. Input another number, yes. Enter a number, seven. Another number, sure, why not? Let's try another number, two. Enter another number, no, capital N. The total sum is 14, so. 5 plus 7 plus 2 is 14, so it seems to be working fine. You might want to try some other test cases, but this is just an idea on how to do while loops and actually create something somewhat practical. It's all there. Um, you might want to include other if statements because the user might input something other than a N or a Y. And this code here, if I plugged in the letter L, for example, it'll just continue on. But this is just to give you the quick and dirty version of a while loop. And I'd like to give a shout out to Cam Studio. This is an open source uh, software that you can record your screen from. I, I 
suggest anybody interested in trying to uh, do tutorials with the computer to try out Camp Studio. It works pretty good for me. Uh, you might have to check out the various settings.